Hey, hey, Schoolie Nation. On today's episode, see the humans install the 12 volt wiring in the schoolie. Stick around to see it all go down. Killer Schoolie. Greetings, Schoolie Nation, and welcome to the Killer Schoolie Channel. Broadcasting from the Killer Schoolie Orbital Command Center, I am Logan 12. Before the humans could begin installing their 12 volt electrical, they needed to complete some trim work around the forward max fan. Due to an error, this area remained uninsulated, so the human female got to work insulating it. After that, she modified the framing around the van to allow for future sealing work. Once the frame was complete, she wired the schoolie for 12 volt. After a word from Ed, we'll see how she did it. Hey, listen up, Schoolie Nation. The Killer Schoolie team has a little website. There you'll find ways to support the humans with this project. You can also find photos of the bus, conversion articles, and other helpful information. Check it out at KillerSchoolie.com and let us know how we can better serve you, the Schoolie Nation. Thanks, Ed. That's Ed the Undocumented Space Fungus, everyone. Great job, Ed. began this project by purchasing two separate kinds of 12 volt wires. The first was a large roll of 14 gauge insulated marine wire. This type has both the negative and positive wires protected inside insulated sheathing. The second type was separate spools of 14 gauge negative and positive wire sans extra sheathing. This type is easier to use for fixtures that will be run in parallel or series that need to be tapped several times, like a string of pug lights. The human female began by mounting a blue C fuse block in the utility closet. used 14 gauge, that's the blue, spade bits to connect the positive and negative wires that she ran to the fuse block. Negative wires for the 12 volt fixtures and appliances were grounded to the fuse block, not the bus. After that, she ran both positive and negative wires to both the fore and aft max fans. Those wires were connected to the fans using 12 volt male and female connectors. Wires were also pulled to other areas of the bus 
where 12 volt fixtures and appliances will be installed at a later date. Some of those areas include wiring for reading lights, an exhaust fan over the stove, exterior flood lights, exterior fog lights, security and backup cameras, and more. The humans wanted to install five LED puck lights in the bathroom area on a single 12 volt dimmer switch. In addition, they wanted 14 LED puck lights in the living room and kitchen area and have them all wired to a three-way dimmer switch in the utility closet. Uh-oh, time for the tip! The human female ran the positive and negative wires from the fuse block into the top of a three-way 12-volt dimmer switch. Two red wires and one black wire come out from the bottom of the switch. The black wire will run down the center of the bus and be connected directly to each of the LED puck lights via T-tap connectors. The two red wires coming out of the bottom are connected to a red and black wire respectively that she ran up to the front of the bus. Those wires were then wired to a standard three-way toggle switch. One positive wire is leaving the three-way toggle and runs down the center of the bus and will be directly connected to each of the LED puck lights using T-tap connectors. When the dimmer switches were in place, the human male added connectors to each of the individual punk lights. T-tap connectors were then spliced onto the main positive and negative wires from the switches and short pigtails were made to plug the puck lights into the lines. Once the new puck lights were all connected, the human female fabricated some small cables to temporarily connect the marine battery to the fuse block. And... There was a light! With this system in place, the main lights can be turned on or off from the entry area or from the utility closet. They can also be dimmed from the utility closet switch. The control panel for the previously installed water heater was also wired, and the newly installed propane leak detector as well. What's coming up next time, Ed? Schooly Nation, thumbs up for the human female. On our next transmission, see the humans install a beautiful ceiling in the schoolie. You do not want to miss any of that, so subscribe to the Killer Schooly channel by clicking on the subscribe button now. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell icon so you never miss an episode. 
and leave a friendly comment for us in the comment section below so that we know our broadcast is reaching the surface of the earth. That's right, Schooly Nation. And don't forget to visit KillerSchooly.com for more information. That's KillerSchooly.com. Hey, yeah. What's shaking, big guy? You know my third wife was an electrician. Nah, I, I had no idea I didn't know that. Oh, but not by profession. She was a real live wire, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Killer Sully.